Ahorita solo hay tres conectados. Es... Todavía no está el, el anfitrión que es el que da la clase. Y ya estoy listo, yo solo para meter. Para mientras voy a ver los goles del Barça. Ahora fue Hello students, good evening everyone. Hi, hi. Uh, good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome, how are you? Fine, and you? Oh, great, thanks for asking. Welcome to everyone. It's actually a great pleasure to be here. I was coming home, you know, because there was a kind of traffic, but I came on time and I'm actually ready to begin our class and also ready to practice English because I know that it's important. So how was your day? Tell me, it was good, it was excellent. So tell me about it. How was your day? It was good, very good. Very good, very positive, proactive. So how was it? I was working. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, you know, uh, there are so much students joining right now the class, so let's wait for them. And also, you know, one of the things that I always take into account is the practice. So when we practice, we get more confident. And also because we start, we have class all the time. Every day we study something new. Every day we have a backup related to the topics we learn. Um, simultaneously so that's why it's, it's very successful and um well and before that we continue with our class i just want to ask you what do you remember that we started yesterday in our class what, what topics what uh, information we socialized with our, with our classmates The use of one and ones. That's correct. That's correct. So we were uh, talking about the demonstrative one and ones. And at the same time, we were like, well, practicing with new vocabulary about material. We will continue today with the other topics that will be very helpful, especially with this class. And remember that all the topics that we studied perhaps um, could be easy or difficult, but every day I feel like it's important. Let's see here. And welcome to everyone because there are some students joining and congratulations also for their responsibility. Well, we have this video conference and uh, we're talking about comparison with adjectives. This is the topic that we will be, you know, studying here in the class. And there are things that maybe are going to be valuable for all of us right here in the class. Let's continue. So we're going to have a conversation. And today we have a very special topic, the comparative adjectives. This topic is 
very, very necessary. The comparative adjectives. Look at this one. This topic is very important because we use them. We use the vocabulary to talk about some comparisons. We compare people, animal, and objects. Definitely that the comparative adjectives are very crucial in this process. Look at this, grammar focus, preferences, comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? And also we have, I prefer the later ones. Which ones do you like better or do you like more? I like the later one better or more. And also the, the one is cheaper than the woman. This one is nicer than that one. The leather jacket is prettier than, it looks bigger than, and it's more stylish than. So we have, for example, the spelling, we have the adjective, but at the same time, we have the comparative form. And uh, also I will explain a little bit about the compar comparisons with adjectives. First of all, I just want to ask you, do you remember about the uh, comparative adjectives? Do you remember this topic or you don't? ¿Se acuerdan de este tema? No, I remember it, but a little bit. Something. I don't remember, teacher. Okay, that's important because we need to establish, you know, um, some ideas about it. I, I will explain. One second. For this, I'm going to try to use one second. One thing about the comparative adjectives. Mm, one moment. Yeah, comparative adjectives are very are very useful, and especially when we are comparing some things. In one moment, I need to share an extra page so we can also work with some exercises. Okay, let's see, look at this. Okay, this is going to be very helpful for me to help you to practice with this one. Okay, um, can you see my, the presentation? Yes. Okay, well, we're going to have a short backup related to the comparative adjective because this topic, um, it's a kind of review. Uh, it's a review of previous activities. Well, in this case, the comparative adjectives are necessary, especially when we are trying to compare things, people, animal, and objects. So the compar comparative form, it's very essential. And I will share with you some examples. We'll go with um, this. Look at this. One moment. I'm going to move it here. Okay. Veamos un ejemplo de los comparatives. Dice los comparatives. Um, we use. Vamos a utilizar ER. At the end. Of an adjective. Entonces, veamos este ejemplo. Vamos a utilizar los eh, comparisons. Vamos a agregarle ER at the end of the adjectives to, to compare it, para compararlo, como un, un ejemplo común. Entonces, vamos a ver, ¿cuál es la función de un adjetivo? Who tells me? ¿Cuál es la función de un adjetivo? What's the function of an adjective? Es una cualidad de algo o alguien. Mm -hmm. Exactly. When we're talking about comparative adjectives, we're comparing. As the word says, we compare people, animal, and objects. Comparamos personas, animales, y cosas. Entonces, eh, todos los adjetivos, pues, de alguna manera, pues, nos demuestran 
que hay un grado eh, de comparación. Vamos a ver, aquellos adjetivos eh, que solo tienen una sílaba, adjetivos que solamente tienen una sílaba, nosotros le vamos a agregar ER. Vamos a poner un ejemplo. Decimos la palabra easy. Entonces, nosotros le vamos a poner easy. Como este termina en una Y, pues nosotros le vamos a agregar ER y va a decir easier. Entonces, decimos fácil, más fácil. Entonces, eh, el comparativo es ese. Compara. Y vamos a utilizar la palabra then. ¿Qué significa qué? Vamos a utilizar, por ejemplo, eh, el adjetivo crazy. Crazy, eh, ¿qué significa crazy? What's the meaning about crazy? Loco, alocado. Entonces, eh, exacto. Entonces vamos a agregar crazy y como termina en una Y, le vamos a eliminar la Y y le vamos a agregar R. Y le vamos a decir crazier than, para decir más loco que... Okay? You know, he is crazier than my brother. Él está más loco que mi hermano. Eh, por ejemplo, si vemos que un adjetivo es tall, de alto, entonces yo quiero decir más alto. Entonces le vamos a dar R y vamos a decir taller than. Más alto que mi primo. My cousin is taller than my brother. Entonces vamos utilizando los que son los comparativos. Como un pequeño review. Vamos a decir fast, como un ejemplo de un adjetivo en general, rápido. Entonces yo digo faster, quiero decir más rápido que, faster than, más rápido que, que el conejo, faster than the rabbit, for example. Entonces vamos viendo que vamos haciendo las comparaciones. Más fácil que, más loco que, más alto que, más rápido que. Y ahí vamos a ir agregando eh, los adjetivos. Cuando un adjetivo es muy pequeño, por ejemplo, hay un adjetivo que es muy pequeño, por ejemplo, el, el hot. Este adjetivo solo tiene una consonante, vocal y consonante. Entonces, como el adjetivo es muy pequeño, yo tengo que agregarle otra consonante en la que termina. Entonces, decimos hot, le agregamos otra T, porque el adjetivo es muy corto y tiene consonante, vocal, consonante. Y le vamos a agregar ER. Entonces, hotter than the coffee. Está más caliente que... Y ahí le ponemos el café. Por ejemplo, tenemos otro adjetivo que también tiene esta cualidad. Big, por ejemplo, tiene consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, para decir más grande, entonces yo digo big. Y le vamos a agregar otra G. Y decimos bigger y le agregamos then. Entonces decimos más grande que... Y así... Vamos con otro adjetivo, short, corto o más pequeño. Entonces yo quiero decir más pequeño, decimos short, y le vamos a agregar shorter. Y aquí le quiero poner más pequeño que, que la cama, shorter than the bed, right, for example. Entonces ahí eh, nosotros vamos agregándole la R para hacer este adjetivo una comparación, para hacerlo comparative. Y ahí podemos seguir con otros adjetivos. Como easy, crazier, taller, faster, eh, cold, de helado. Está helado, decimos cold. Entonces yo quiero decir más helado, entonces yo digo colder. Vamos a decir smart, de inteligente, pero yo quiero decir más inteligente, entonces decimos smarter. Y así vamos nosotros haciendo lo que son los adjetivos comparativos. No sé si recordaron ya este tema. If you remember this topic? Yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. So this is a kind of review. Decimos limpio, más limpio. Decimos uh, cleaner. Cleaner. Decimos, por ejemplo, slow. slow. ¿Cómo sería el, el para decir más despacio? Slower. Slower, eh? Slower than the, this one. And so on, we just like uh, continue working with the comparative adjectives. Entonces decimos, por ejemplo, yo quiero decir, en, vamos a utilizar otro adjetivo. Vamos a utilizar
narrow. Angosto, pues decimos narrower. Entonces ahí estamos haciendo un comparativo, en este caso, de esta palabra. Y la famosa then, que significa qué. Entonces eso es como hacer un repaso de los adjetivos comparativos, eh, pero también vamos a, a tomarlo de esta manera. Les voy a mostrar otro slide. A ver, duplicate. Este. Ok, let's see. Okay, veamos ahora. Look at this one. Look at this example. Pero ahora bien, usted mira, teacher, pero fíjese que hay unos adjetivos que tienen más de una sílaba. Porque vimos que los adjetivos tenían una sílaba, eh, short, eh, decíamos oh, hot, easy, crazy, tall, fast, hot, big, short, cold. Todos estos adjetivos tienen una sílaba. Pero ¿y aquellos que tienen más de una sílaba? ¿Qué va a pasar con ellos? What is going to happen with them? Add more. Exactly. So in this case, we use more at the end of the adjectives to compare two or more syllables. Cuando este tiene más de una sílaba, es decir, que los adjetivos relativamente son grandes, eh, nosotros ya no le vamos a agregar more. Por ejemplo, yo digo la palabra intelligent, que tiene más de dos sílabas. Intelligent. Entonces, quiero decir más inteligente. What, what can I do? Vamos a agregar more. Okay, look at this one. Decimos more intelligent. More intelligent. Yo quiero decir um, beautiful. Quiero decir que es bonita. Beautiful. Yo quiero decir más bonita o más hermosa o más hermoso. Vamos a decir more beautiful. Porque este tiene más de dos sílabas. Porque es un adjetivo más grande. Yo quiero decir interesante. La película estuvo interesante. The movie was interesting. And decimos interesting, we say more interesting. Entonces vemos ahí que el adjetivo ya se van viendo mucho más grandes. Entonces, como son, tienen más de dos sílabas, le vamos a agregar more para decir más, in, más interesante. Decimos amazing. So we can see the example more amazing. Look at this one. Y ahí we can also see the examples of this round. So on. So we can appreciate here the examples about the adjectives, the comparative adjectives. Y cuando pues tienen más dos sílabas, esto pues vamos a utilizar more. This is uh, como la general rule about the, the topic. This is a kind of general rule. En este caso, pues vamos a utilizar los eh, comparisons as a preference with adjectives. Eh, este ya va más enfocado en ropa. Por ejemplo, cheap, que es barato. Cheaper, más barato. Nice. Es muy bueno. Nicer, más bueno. Pretty, de bastante bonito. O muy bonita. And prettier, más bonito. Big, de grande. Y más grande es bigger. So we can see the example. Which one do you prefer? When we go to a store, because we need to get a, a product, we need to you know buy like a kind of article or something, you ask, I mean, which one do you prefer? The, I prefer the letter one, because we're talking about materials. In the last class, we're talking about materials. Hablamos de materials. Eh, ¿Qué materiales se acuerdan en inglés? What materials do you remember we studied yesterday? Can you name me some of them? Mm -hmm. Plastic. Okay. Yes. Silver. Okay, silver. Gold. Uh -huh. Rubber. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. us. All right. That's great. Definitely, that is great. So we, we can see that one. All right. So imagine that we are looking for a specific item, article, product. Which do you do? Which one do you prefer? I prefer the letter one. And um, which one do you like better, or do you like more? So we can check this one. I like the letter. I like the letter one better or more. Right, eh, better que en este caso sería mejor. Y more que es como decir más. Entonces, which one do you like better? ¿Cuál te gusta mejor? O which one do you like more? O ¿cuál te gusta más? Entonces podemos utilizar las dos cuando tú le preguntas a alguien sobre qué artículo le gustó más. Right, so we can also check that one. Y vemos que en la primera decíamos, which one do you, do you prefer? Y entonces la persona dice, ah, the one is cheaper than the wool one. That is the example. The one is cheaper than, o sea, es más barato que, and you can see this one. Oh, I prefer the letter one. This one is nicer than the other one. Este es mejor que el otro. Which one do you like better? Which one do you like more? The letter jacket is prettier than. Es más bonito que, y ahí pues usted, Check the compliment. I like the letter one better, or I like the letter one more. It looks bigger than this one, or it's more stylish than the other one. O sea, que tiene más estilo, it's more stylish. Estas son como las, las preguntas más comunes, especially when you're getting a product, when you're buying uh, clothes in a store and your classmates or friends or family, they ask you about the products. Well, these pants are amazing, but which one do you prefer? I prefer the letter one. I prefer the blue one. I prefer the black one. It's nicer than the other one. It's cheaper than the other pants or are bigger than the other pants. So we are like comparing a product or an article. So that is the, um, one of the valuable details in this article here. Look at um, something else. Look at this example. Sorry, one second. Okay, let's see. Uh, Guadalupe Aguilar, can you help me to read the information about preference? Okay, preference. If you ask someone about like or preference for something, you can use these sentences. Prefer, like more and like better. For examples, which shirt do you prefer? I prefer the blue one. Which one do you like more? I like the red one more. Which one uh, you like better? I like the yellow one better. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So you can appreciate here that if you ask someone about like or preferences, you can use this one. I, uh, I prefer the blue one. Oh, I like more. Oh, I like better. There are two ways in which you can show preferences about a product, about an article or something else. Which shirt do you prefer? I prefer the blue one because you are using prefer. Or you say, which one do you like more? ¿Cuál te gusta más? I like the red one more. Or oh, I like the blue ones more. Or oh, I like the black ones more. And um, which one do you like better? I like the yellow one better. Or oh, I like the blue one better. So we are... Uh, comparing in that case and when we are comparing um, a product or something specifically. Let's continue with that. Look at this one. Um, como vemos, aquí hacíamos como un pequeño backup de los adjetivos. Adjectives with one syllable and uh, adjectives with two syllables ending in add er. Es decir, Aquellos adjetivos que pues tienen una sílaba 
y dos sílabas nosotros le agregamos er. If one or two syllables words are ending in y, you must to exclude y and, add, and then add i e r. Como les decía, aquellos adjetivos que terminaban en una en una y, pues nosotros eliminamos la y y le agregamos una y latina. Por ejemplo, pretty, prettier. Entonces, crazy, crazier. Y los demás adjetivos le agregamos R para hacerlos comparativos. Es lo que le explicaba de manera general esta parte. Also, we have those examples. Uh, Catherine Suleyma, can you help me to read the, the examples? Oh, the microphone, uh, Catherine. Sorry. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Clean, cleaner, nice, nicer, happy, happier, big, bigger. And in the other part as well. Exactly. In, ad in adjectives where a short vowel is followed by a consonant with double D consonant. For example, big, bigger, and fit, fitter. Exactly, so you can check here the examples, uh, clean, cleaner, nice, nicer, happy, happier, big, bigger. In adjectives where a short vowel is followed by a consonant with double the consonant. Eh, como decía la regla, hay adjetivos que son tan pequeños que, bueno, solo tienen una, una, una sílaba. Este solo tiene consonante, vocal, consonante. B, consonant. I, vowel. G, consonant. Entonces, como es tan pequeño, cuando queremos comparar, tenemos que agregarle una palabra en la que termina. Si termina en una G, pues le agregamos la G. Y por eso dice bigger. Eh, tenemos la palabra fit en uh, F, I, T. So, feeder. Y ahí vemos far, far. Entonces, ahí vamos viendo que le vamos a agregar ese consonante en la que termina porque el adjetivo es demasiado pequeño. That is the, one of the things that we were studying as the feedback of the previous topic. Study it. Okay, look at this one. This is another rule that we summarized previously. Le vamos a pedir a, Carlos, a Roberto Carlos que nos ayude a leer la segunda regla. Um, Roberto Carlos? Can you read? Are you there? I think he's not there. Oh, Henry Alejandro, can you help me to read the rule number two? Okay. Thank you. Explain the rules to adjective with two syllables not ended in eight, an adjective with three or more, add more. For example, useful, more useful, famous, more famous, exciting, more exciting, difficult, more difficult, impinent, more impinent. Thank you so much for that one. So as the, you remember, we studied uh, the previous rule there are some adjectives that contain more than two syllables. Es decir, adjetivos con dos sílabas, dos sílabas, pero que estas no terminen en una Y, sino que son solamente que sean dos sílabas. Y adjetivos con tres o más sílabas. Le vamos a agregar more. Es lo que les explicaba al inicio, right? Um, okay, so we can check here that these adjectives tienen más de dos sílabas. O sea, tres o más. Entonces vemos useful, more useful. Ahí como, as you read before, más útil. Entonces decimos more useful. And 
you can say famous too, like famous, exciting, exciting, difficult, and impatient. Entonces vemos ahí los ejemplos de estos adjetivos, useful, famous, exciting, difficult, and impatient. Ahí vemos y le damos a todos le agregamos more para hacer los compartidos. Ah, este, este examen estaba más difícil que el otro. This exam was more difficult than the other. Oh, you are more impatient than my brother. Entonces vemos ahí the rule number two. Okay, veamos este ejercicio. Look at this exercise. You can help me to answer it. Complete these conversations and then practice with a partner. Eh, vemos los materiales. We can see the materials. Look at this. We can also see the materials. There's only more. Yes. <laughs> Check that. Revise, revise this one. Revisemos este. Tenemos silk, polyester, mold, medium, uh, cotton, and wool. Right. Entonces vamos a tratar de completar estas conversaciones with the information that we have right now as part of the class. Look at that. Look at this information. Y tenemos ahí, which dress is, ¿cuál sería ahí el comparativo del number one? Prettier. Ok, prettier. Ok, so, yeah, we'll say in that case, prettier. Uh -huh. The yellow one or the green one? Well, the green one is silk, and silk is more, more. expensive. Okay. More expensive. You can check that one, all right? So it's more expensive. Okay, interesting. What about the number two? It says, uh, is this blue t-shirt large? What do you think? ¿Cuál sería el, large. Com el comparativo de large? More, more large. The red. Check uh, the syllables. Check how many syllables. Larger. Two syllables. Larger. Larger. Okay. All right. You can check that one. That's okay. We say larger. Exactamente. Para decir que esta azul es más grande. Esta camiseta. Cuando está la T, T-shirt, en este caso es camiseta. It's larger than, uh, the larger, the red one, the red and white one. No, the red and white one is... Bigger. Bigger. Hmm. In comparison, right? So it's bigger. It's uh, medium. The blue one is small. So ahí vamos viendo que vamos utilizando las com comparative forms to check the differences in objects, in articles, and products. Vamos con el número tres. Look at the number three. Look at these pens. Which ones do you like? Y vemos la palabra good. El comparativo de good, fíjense que el comparativo de good es, vamos a ver, si ¿sí? ya es, es, excelente. Este es un, es un adjetivo irregular. Muy bien. Estos son los adjetivos irregulares. Por eso este no se le va a agregar ninguna R, ningún more, porque este adjetivo tiene su propia estructura. Ok, look at this one. Luego veré ahí algunos ejemplitos. And tenemos, por ejemplo, I prefer the green cotton ones. They are 
y dice stylish. Ok. What's, ¿Cuál sería el de stylish? More stylish than. Ajá. All right. More stylish. Vamos a agregar aquí. More stylish. Right. En este caso, pues decimos que tiene más estilo. Y ahí, also, we can also check the, the comparisons of this exercise. Muy bien. Okay, so look at this one. Okay, pregunta sobre esto, alguna pregunta, alguna duda? No questions? Hello? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, perfect. That's that's okay. That's important. Well, uh, we'll continue with uh, more exercises. And um, the most valuable of this part is to like socialize important details. Look at this. Recordemos que los eh, irregular adjectives son aquellos adjetivos que no se les va a agregar ninguna eh, eh, R o more, sino que es un poco distinto. Veamos el ejemplo. Tenemos good. El comparativo de good is better, right? As you said before, it's part of the review. Eh, bueno, en este caso de old eh, sería um, older. Ahí vemos que es older. Eh, está, por ejemplo, far, que es lejos. Entonces, usted lo va a encontrar como further. O lo puede encontrar también, yeah, en este caso. Ahí vemos... Uh, look at the chat. Veamos el chat. Por ejemplo, tenemos well, que es como decir bien. Y el de well, en este caso, el comparativo también es better. Uh, tenemos little. Entonces, el comparativo de little, en este caso, es less. Like you can check here in the chat. Y tenemos otro como many, por ejemplo, que pues el comparativo es more. So you can um, check the most common eh, comparative forms. Vemos ahí los comparativos. Entonces, those are irregular. Estos son los que no se les agrega. Si ustedes se fijan, no se les agrega ni, ni more, ni se les agrega er, porque se le llaman irregulares. Those are the examples. Okay, so you can help me with that one. Okay, Catherine Suleima, help me to read the instruction of these exercises. Complete the sentences using the positive Comparative and superlative of the adjective in brackets. Okay, that's okay. That's what we had to do. Entonces, um, usted va a tratar de utilizar los comparativos para completar el, el siguiente ejercicio. Entonces, les voy a dejar un espacio para que usted decida cómo iría el comparativo para completar estas oraciones.
Okay, almost ready or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. All right. I don't. Uh, not not yet, uh, Catherine. No. Hello. Uh, ready or not yet? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. You're ready. Okay. Hello, ready? Do we check the answers? Yes, ready. Yes. Okay, ready. perfect. So let's, you know, socialize the answers here together. First one, okay, I will use the chat to, you know, to post the answers here. Okay, what is the first one? And can you help me with the number one? That car is much faster than mine. Okay, si decimos faster, más rápido, entonces es mucho más rápido. Por eso está el much, much faster. Okay, so it's okay. And number two. I think still living is more fascination, fascinating than cleaning. Is uh, more fascinating, okay? More fascinating. Okay, yes, the fascinating. Great job in this one. Uh, well, I don't know why it has a different number, but it has the number four. Well, help me with that one. Number four, help me with this. Okay. Yes. He thinks this test was more difficult than the last one. Okay, so you say it uh, more difficult. Okay. Next, um, next one. Susan. Susan is a nice girl. She's much nicer than her sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we say nicer. Yes. Next. And we're talking about this suitcase. This suitcase is heavier than the others. Okay. It's heavier than the others. So we're saying that it's... Comparing to others is totally different. Yes, number nine. Help me with that. Hotels. We're talking about hotels. 
are more expensive than in Vienna. Okay, so are more expensive. We are talking about hotels. Yes, that's correct in this case, the answer here. Number 10, what about this one? Can you help me with that? Bo is taller than Kate, but Phil is the... The tallest. In that case, it's a superlative. But this is another topic too, the comparative and superlatives. So Phil is the tallest. But in that case, is uh, Bob is taller than Kate. Right, and next, friends. What about friends? Friends is a more beautiful as Spain. En este caso, este ejercicio se los quería compartir. Ustedes ven que está as as, pero ¿qué significa as as? Este as as se ocupa para comparar también. Solo que as, el primer as significa tan. Y el segundo as significa como. Entonces, cuando digo as, as, yo digo tan como. Tan inteligente como. Tan rápido como. Tan lento como. Tan caliente como. Eh, tan aburrido como. Entonces, este as, as también lo ocupamos para comparar. Entonces, eh, comparamos cosas de igualdad. A diferencia de then, que uno es más que el otro o es diferente el otro. Este as as es, es, se compara, pero los dos tienen el mismo nivel de comparación. Por ejemplo, decimos que Francia es as beautiful as. Es tan, tan bonito como, es tan hermoso como. Vamos a ver, si yo les digo, El Salvador is as, eh, vamos a decir, Interesante, as, inter as interesting, um, El Salvador is as interesting as, ¿como qué país? Mencioname un país. <laughs> Colombia. Ok, El Salvador is as, as interesting as Colombia. Ok, nice. <laughs> So we can use as and as. En este caso, estos los se ocupan para comparar dos cosas, eh, pero que tienen el mismo nivel de comparación. My brother is as intelligent as me. I am um, as tall as my, my cousin. Y ahí vamos haciendo lo que es el comparativo. Y vamos con el último, the last one. The TMI house. TMI house. Bigger than yours. Yeah. Okay, so we're comparing in this case. Bigger. And we are comparing in this part here. Great job. Congratulations for that. Okay, look at this one. How much do these things cost in your country? Complete the chart and then compare the prices in your country with the prices in the U.S. A newspaper in the U.S. is 75 cents of dollar. A cup of coffee is one dollar. Depending because in the in the U.S., the cup of coffee could cost three dollars or five dollars or more. A CD costs uh, seventeen ninety nine dollars. A paperback book costs seven dollars ninety five cents. Many things are more expensive in my country than the, in the United States. For example, a newspaper costs $1 at home. In the U.S., it's cheaper. It's only $0.75. Cents. A cup of coffee costs. So I want you to compare the prices of a newspaper in El Salvador in the United States, a cup of coffee in El Salvador in, in the United States, a CD, and also a paperback book. So I want you to think and uh, try to compare the prices we have in our country. Well, meanwhile, you do this one, I will pass the attendant list and then we will socialize and the answers together here, okay? So that's what we have to do. Moment. 
One second. Okay. One second, please. Okay, continue with this activity. And um, I will check the attendance list and you see. Okay, so let's um, check the tenant list. Ana Isela Janes. Ana? She's not here. Okay, she's not here. Uh -huh. Ana eh, Ruth Perez. Present. Eh, Carlos Ernesto Flores. Estaba Carlos or was not? No, he was not in the class. Okay. David Alejandro Rodriguez. Here. David Rafael Ramos. Present. Diana Beatriz Reyes. Present. Diana Cristabel Menéndez. Present. Eric Javier Ventura. Present. Eh, Fiorella Crespin. Gerardo José Tepas. Gerardo José. Henry Alejandro Flores. Present. Eh, ¿Quién dijo present? I'm here. Who? Say the name. Henry. 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 Okay. Y Gerardo José? Is not. No está. Okay. Ingrid Magdalena Castellanos? Okay. Jorge Francisco López? Okay. Um, Juana Margarita Sea. Catherine uh, Suleima Poca Sangre. Present. Catherine Nicole Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Katy Jordana Dos Cruces. Sí. Laura Lisset Peña. Present teacher. Thanks. Lorena Araceli Hernández. Present teacher. Ok. Mirna Jasmine Portillo. Present. Oscar Otoniel Cruz. Present. Um, Reina Jael Arevalo. Reina? Está en el chat, teacher. Ok, thanks. Eh, Roberto Carlos Alfaro. Present. Thanks. Eh, Sebastián Guadalupe Aguilar. Present. Eh, Tatiana Vigay Rodríguez. 
Tatiana. Úrsula Adriana Burgos. Present. Wendy Lisette Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, just to conclude, because of the time, I want to ask you, what is the price of a newspaper in El Salvador? Prices? Of... I'm sorry? What's the price of a newspaper? 25 cents. Mm -hmm. What is the price of a cup of coffee in El Salvador? Three dollars. Three dollars? Depends. The cheapest? What is Starbucks? The, the cheaper? Yeah. But in the, cent and in the central market, the gas station? 25 cent. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so the, the cheapest one is how much? 25 cents? The cheapest. Yes. Yeah. And the most yeah. expensive, like seven dollars, five dollars, what? Seven dollars. Seven dollars, okay. A CD, what's the price of a CD in El Salvador? Two for one dollar. <laughs> one or two yeah, dollars. The... <laughs> okay. And a paperback book, what's the price? Depends. A what? What could be the price? Five dollars. Five dollars? A paperback yeah. is como la resma, no. O libros. Eh, libros de bolsillos, como libros pequeños. Yeah, between uh, seven dollars, yeah, fifteen dollars depends the price, right? Okay, students, thank you so much for staying here with us in the class. Congratulations because of the practice, and we hope to see you tomorrow. And remember that it's important to practice because we learn and we activate our knowledge by watching vocabulary expressions and phrases. So I hope to see you tomorrow, and have a beautiful night to all of you. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Hi. Yo tengo una duda. Mandé una pantallita ahí. Yo, yo ahorita estoy trabajando en la plataforma y voy por la parte 4, mm -hmm. donde habla de la música. Pero ahí yo ya proveí los posibles y no me toman la última. Maybe I know the answer, so I can also check and I will respond. You. Okay. Okay. Gracias. Okay. So, thank you guys. Thank you. Have a beautiful okay. day, all of you. Good night. Good night, you too. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you.